Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Welcome to Check Out the Tech, and today we're gonna show you how to save hundreds of dollars using your existing laptop. Now it's no secret, as tech gets older, it gets slower. But thanks to Google, these products can have a second life by converting them into Chromebooks with extremely impressive speeds. This is now possible with Chrome OS Flex, which is an operating system made by Google to install on older computers. Let me know in the comments section your old laptop specs so we can see who has the oldest one out there. Chrome requirements for hardware is very little. That same 8th gen i5 processor would easily compete with $400 to $500 Chromebooks being sold right now. It's really well protected against any viruses or malware, and Chromebooks are perfect for anyone that needs a web browser to do all your work, like students or basic everyday office jobs. So, is there a catch? Well, kinda. While this is great, it's not foolproof for every single laptop in the world. There is a certified model list that will actually tell you if your current laptop is certified to work with this product. We'll leave a link in the description in the video for you down below. And Google lets you know if it's certified, if it has some minor issues, or if it will have some major issues. So you know if this is gonna be a smooth transition or if you should probably wait till it gets all the bugs out. Second, is this reversible if you wanna go back? Yes, but you'll need to reinstall Windows with all the drivers for your laptop. To do this is a little bit more complicated. We won't be showing how to in this video, but if it's something you wanna see in a future video, let us know in the comments. So now we'll show you how to get started. But before we do, we're not responsible for anything you do to your laptop. So please take a look at the page, prepare for installation from Google for further guidance before you do this. All right, then let's get started. The first step is creating a USB installer. You'll need a flash drive with at least 32 gigs of storage. So we're gonna click create USB installer. And then we're gonna scroll down a little bit and we're going to click Chrome Web Store. So this is going to install a web store extension called Chromebook Recovery Utility. I'm gonna install it. I already have it installed in my laptop, so it's ready to go. And then we're just gonna bring it up in extensions, which is this little puzzle piece right here, and just right click it. Now after we right clicked it, you're going to click Let's Get Started. When it asks you for your model, you're actually going to select model from list and both will be Chrome OS Flex. Click continue. Now you're prompted to insert your USB. You're going to select, I have mine right here and then click continue. Create now. So it's letting you know that all the data on this flash drive will be wiped so make sure you don't have any personal data that you need for this process. And of course, don't remove the drive, let it do its thing, and it should take about two minutes. Then once you're finally done, you're going to boot device using the USB installer. Now what this means is you're basically going to reset your computer and you're going to hit the boot keys. Boot keys appear on the very bottom of your screen. It'll let you know which one it is. Usually F11 is a good bet, but sometimes F9 or whichever one it would be, but it'll tell you at the bottom, boot menu, and that's what we're gonna do. And then if you did everything correct, we should now boot into Chrome OS Flex. So we're gonna click get started and install Chrome OS Flex. Click install. Know that this will erase the hard drive that's currently there, so. And now we're installing. Now it says right here, it should take up to 20 minutes, so just know that going in. Now, it said it took up to 20 minutes. Ours was only about two minutes, just so you know. And also, before it reboots, you wanna make sure to take out your flash drive so that it can load properly. Then, once you're here, you're welcome to Chrome OS Flex. Let me get, click get started. We're already connected to Wi-Fi. And then you're gonna go over the terms and services and everyone always reads those. So I'm gonna click set. 
Then from here, you can decide if it's gonna be you using this or a child. This is really great because for my child, I signed them in this way. So I know where she goes, what website she goes to, and I can control everything. So it's really important. I'm gonna click next. And then sign into your email, just that simple. And then you want to sync your device. This will just sync all of your current websites, everything you've done beforehand, and sync it to this Chromebook. Then it's gonna ask you to collect its data to make sure that the hardware is working properly and so it can continually update to prevent further crashes. If you accept, then click yes or not, discontinue. I like Google Assistant, so you can always just say the words, hey, and then have it answer your question. So it's really simple and easy and it's definitely something that I like to have on here. And then you can sync up your phone if you want. This will just give every Wi-Fi connection your phone's ever had to your laptop or other features like texting from it. So simple and easy, but I'm just gonna do no thanks for now and then just get started. And here we are, welcome to Chrome OS. Guys, this makes your device so much faster. You can watch YouTube videos, you can send text messages, you can do Google Meets. I can open up a bunch of different things, whether it be calendar, whether it be messages, whether it be files, and you can just see how quick this is moving compared to what it would have been before. This is a great option if you want to improve your old computer and make it run fast. This is just awesome. It has everything you could need, plus a really much longer battery life actually too. So I would definitely recommend this to anyone. Let me know in the comment section if you did this and if it worked out for you. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy.